Hey guys, what's up? I'm sick, so I finally had time to work on my Ashcraft Deep from 2023. <laughs> Even though by the time this gets posted, it's gonna be 2024. But I feel like it's the perfect way to bring in the new year. This is what Ashkash 2023 is like. First, we took off from our home base airport at an undisclosed location because you guys don't need to know where I live. We stopped in an airport before the Fisk arrival because we didn't want to be those people that ran out of fuel. And we got to see a couple of air tractors doing their thing. <laughs> because we had four people in one airplane. Uh, so we were already at half tabs with the weight and balance. There's already an air show going on and we're setting up our tents. Only four years. Until uh, I get a Meg. <laughs>
we saw a lot of really cool planes. The Boeing Dreamliner. <laughs> Airbus Super Guppy. Yeah. Uh, there is a lot of Super Hornet. to walk inside this one plane and you could like walk around in the back and then there was also like a ladder where you could go up to the cockpit but the middle of the plane was so hot that like we just wanted to get the heck out of there. Instead of queuing up outside, right in the middle of the very hot plane. Also the coast air because the wings go like this. chapter had set up a little hangar party and the vantage point from there was so cool. So what kind of uh, plane do you have? Uh, it's a four seat. This might be the gate we're trying to get. Beautiful.
So, the camping situation at Oshkosh isn't that bad. So they have trailers um, with showers in it, and then around the back of the trailers they have sinks where some guys were like shaving their beards and I would just brush my teeth there. And then they also have this little shop with everything that you could have possibly forgotten, like batteries, uh, frozen burritos, there's a microwave in there. They have coffee too, so yeah, they got, they got a little bit of everything. They got Pringles, I think chips, uh, sports drinks, um, so you definitely won't start. Also, the paramotors would start at like pretty much like around like 5.45 every single morning. It was kind of annoying, but hey, I woke up at six o'clock every single morning on the dot. Mission was a success. I got my shower in, we're all good. You guys see the super gummy take off. I think it's crazy that the exhaust from that thing is creating smoke trails. Thursday morning after the big Wednesday night air show, um, a lot of people were taxiing to get out of Oshkosh. I guess a lot of people were there for like earlier in the week and they wanted to get out. Um, but Somebody's tire either blew on like the taxiway or like the runway or something like that. I have no idea. But yeah, so all the planes taxiing to try and get out of Oshkosh were basically like stuck all the way back into the last row of the South 40. And um, the line guys, the volunteer line guys um, at Oshkosh were telling everybody back in our lot to basically shut down their planes and wait it out. Since it was supposed to be a hot day, um, we ended up going to the seaplane base. <laughs> seaplane base um, the afternoon air show had pretty much already started but right there when you get off the bus there's that cheese curd taco stand and <laughs> it was good it was just a lot of cheese it was very heavy so I only really finished about like one taco show they opened up the TFR so that all the planes that were backed up from that morning uh, could get the heck out of there. And the next morning um, 
we decided to go eat, meet up with some of the people from our EAA chapter um, in the warplane base. And um, Matt, one of the guys that was with us, kind of pointed out that everybody was standing around with like the dad pose in that area. So um, I edited the B-roll to the Home Depot music. <laughs> pretty much sick of um, sleeping in tents, getting rained on, all of the like kind of like carnival, like Oshkosh food. So we went to a hotel room that night. Um, we were all pretty much, um, three of us were running the 5K the Saturday morning. So we got proper sleep in a proper hotel room, we got proper meal at a proper restaurant. I had a burger and Bloody Mary. It was delicious. So I didn't film the 5K because it was super early in the morning. And then um, basically directly after the 5K, um, we took off back to home base. And yeah, that's it. I haven't flown in two weeks, so I got the itch, guys. I got the flying itch. Like, I need to get in an airplane sometime soon. I'm actually going flying in about, like, three days, but because of the holidays, everybody's just been so busy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share this with your other pilot friends. Um, if you see your airplane in my uh, video at all, make sure to leave a comment down below. I try to edit out all the tail numbers so you don't have to worry about people tracking your registration or anything like that. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for Oshkosh 2024. <laughs> Athena, do you want to say anything? No? You sleeping? Chillin? All right, guys, see ya. I knew he must have been about 17. I was the best of going strong, playing my favorite song, and I couldn't want to be long till he was with me, yeah, me, and I couldn't want to be long till he was with me, yeah, me, singing, I love rock and roll, burn, burn the time to your box, baby, I love rock and roll, sometimes you dance with me, oh.